he's been able to dictate. Trying to consolidate the break here in the final set, leading to one 30 love. And Serena's effort at the beginning of this game has not been great. I, I don't know whether or not she's lost some heart, but the first two points was not the usual gutty effort. Come on. And I think it's taken its toll, Pam. I think psychologically, what you mentioned that she's lost four in a row, she's had the injury to her left leg, to her right knee, see a little strapping on her, uh, right above her left knee right now. She tried to play a couple tournaments, didn't win any matches. And I think it bugs her. I think the crowd bothers her here. I've seen her mention it. She, she doesn't know quite what she's done through the years, but they, they get behind, they really get behind her opponent all the time. Just uncharacteristic uh, form for Serena Williams. She lost in Miami in the finals to Azarenka, and then first round defeats here in Europe on the red clay in Rome to Schneider. Madrid retired against Schiavone, and then this woman, Zakopalova, beat her in Marbella. Four in a row. Never happened in her tremendous Hall of Fame career. And she blames the tour for forcing her to play some of those tournaments because she said she was injured, but she didn't want to pay the fine. Hundredth player in the world coming in, Zakopalova, the eighth best from the Czech Republic. She's slight of build, 5'5 five, five and 110 pounds, but she packs a good punch, and she's taken the weight of shot from Serena Williams and sent it right back to the American. Love lead is back to Deuce. Take the first time I saw Zakopalova play, she had a different name. Before she got married, it was Kukalova, and it was in Australia when she beat Monica Sellis early in the tournament, 2003. And re I remembered how well she handled Monica's pace. Oh! She gave it right back. I'll tell you, beating Serena 6 1 in the third set in Marbella is one thing. I mean, Zakabalova, if she could do it here, first round in the French, totally different story. Especially down 6 3, 3 5, and five match points. And it's almost historic when you think about Serena Williams' career. Should uh, Zakabalova pull off the upset? Serena is the number two seed here behind Anara Safina. Venus Williams, sister, won yesterday her opening round match. She's seeded third. It's been about six years since Serena and Venus have been in the top four in the rankings. Serena Williams a chance to break back. And she should not be frustrated right now. <laughs> this is all bonus for her. She should really be a little bit more positive and show Serena that she's more positive here with the lead in the final set. that you admire, you'd like to frame, and there are others you'd like to get the degaussing machine after. And uh, the one we're about to show you is 
just that. The uh, four consecutive losses by Serena Williams never happened in her storied career. And I saw Serena right before the Miami final, and she was really struggling with her left leg. Couldn't put a lot of weight on it. She ended up playing that final, losing, and then going and playing a tournament the very next week, which I was pretty surprised because she was not in good shape. And I think when you're hurt and you keep playing and you keep losing, it just is a bad cycle to get in. Now let's see how that break back impacts her play here at two all in the final set. And it appears to be Zaka Bolova that's a uh, little edgy and forcing errors. Here's that graphic that uh, Serena hopes she doesn't see yes. after today. So a couple of days after Miami, she loses to Zaka Polova, and then she loses to Schneider in the second round of Rome. Madrid was a mandatory tournament for all the players, and she said she went there because she didn't want to pay the fine. Only played a set against Schiavone. But Zaka Polova oh, has totally allowed Serena back in this match. With just a couple points and a little bit of negative body language, Serena now trying to take the lead once again. Well, this final set has been a microcosm of what we've watched for over two hours here at Suzanne Langland Court. It's uh, one woman seems to be in command, Serena especially, with five match points in that second set. And then it shifts to the other side. Just when you count out uh, Zaka Polova, she Not comes up with some tremendous defense and winning shots of her own. Well, normally Serena has so much belief, no matter how much she's practiced or how many tournaments she's played. But because it's the first time that she has not won a match in a long time, it's been difficult for her. It was difficult for her to close out, obviously, that second set, and now she's fighting herself. thought that caught the outside of the line. Umpire Azaraki will check the mark and confirms it was wide, 30 all. Serena through the years has opened up her French Open attempts a lot on this court. And I can remember some awkward other first round matches where we've wondered whether or not mm -hmm. that streak was in doubt, but none more so than this one. Pam, the ING shot spots to show the ball was just out. Pretty amazing that she's never lost the first round in a major. It's, a, it's an amazing stat for Serena. 37 and 0 for the woman who won the Australian Open to start the major season and won the U.S. Open to close out last year's majors. That's the kind of shot making Zaka Palova used to bail herself out of trouble deep into that second set and force this final set. She now has the break point. Great shoulder turn and just at the last minute, puts a little extra on the down the line winner. You saw the return of Zaka Belova, and that's part of the frustration too for Serena Williams. You know, her big serve has not earned her any easy points today. I think because of the court positioning where Zakopalova is standing to return serve, it's made it more difficult for Serena. She's way behind the baseline. It gives her more time to see the ball and make the good return. Is that an ace? Uh, Zakopalova doesn't think so. It's called one and would be only the second in two hours and three minutes of play for that Serena Williams. Yes. Right, your shot spot right on the line. But it sometimes changes your per perception, and you still have to pick your spots and forget about where your opponent is standing to return. Well, how about that? One ace in over two hours, then back-to-back -back aces. And Serena Williams, after breaking back, holds its 3-2 final set.